Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and today we're going to talk about the Clears Graphics Context property on the UI view. <laughs> it's a mouthful. But we're going to talk about what it means and how you use it. Basically, just to give you a short answer, you're not going to use it that much. But let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll describe to you what it actually means. Okay, let's start with context first. Context basically means scope. For example, if you go into your view controller and you create a variable here, var, I don't know, name, string, something like that, then this name variable is within the context of the class. It's But it does not exist outside of the class. So its context exists just within the class. And if we're talking about objects on the UI view, then if we put a UI view on here and give it a color such as that, then the context of this UI view is everything within its bounds, everything within its borders here. Okay, now graphics context, Apple defines as a graphics context represents a drawing destination. So the UI view itself is a graphics context because you can draw things inside of it. You can even put things inside of it. You can put other controls inside of uh, the UI view. So it's kind of like a bucket that can hold other things. You can draw lines or it can also draw buttons. So this button is within the context of this UI view because it's within its borders. So. What does the property mean when it says clears graphics context? Well, whenever any operations happen on the UI, sometimes it has to change the UI view. Like if you change the orientation or if something is being shown on the screen or removed from the screen, or if you're changing text dynamically on a button or a label, then you're changing the graphics context. So when you have this option selected, it basically tells the, the drawing engine to get rid of everything. Say you had to redraw this view. It's saying get rid of everything inside of this frame or inside the bounds of this view and just totally redraw it. And that's the default. That's what it's going to do anyway. But what I've noticed, it's, it's kind of funny. It seems to do that whether I check or uncheck this property anyway. <laughs> so Apple also says, that you normally don't even have to interact or use this property. So I wouldn't even worry about it in your programming. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what it means and how it's defined. I would expect that if I uncheck this and I change like the button text here, that the word button would stay there and the new text that I put in there sort of like be drawn on top of it because it didn't clear it out. But again, that doesn't happen. So. Like I said before, I wouldn't worry about this property. I would just leave it defaulted to the way it is. Maybe if you get into a more advanced scenario where you have to increase performance somehow by not clearing out the graphics context. Like for example, if something goes, if something like this view goes off the screen and then comes back on, maybe you uncheck clears graphic context. So when it comes out here, this area is still drawn. So when you bring it back on, it doesn't have to redraw it. It just uses what was there before. Maybe that would be a scenario where you'd use it. But like I said, I would just leave it checked until you run into problems. And then if you run into problems, look into this property. Okay, that's pretty much all I have for Clears Graphics Context. I hope you have a better understanding what context means, what graphics context is, and what the property itself does. Thank you. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as we go through the rest of the properties for the UI view.